BCCI stands for Board of Control for Cricket in India. It is the national governing body for cricket in India, responsible for organizing and managing cricket matches and events in the country. BCCI was formed in 1928 and is headquartered in Mumbai, India. It is one of the richest and most powerful cricket boards in the world with significant influence over international cricket. The BCCI is responsible for the administration of Indian cricket, including the Indian Premier League, which is one of the most popular and lucrative domestic 2020 cricket leagues in the world. The Board of Control for Cricket in India is the governing body for cricket in India and has a hierarchical structure in place to ensure smooth functioning. Here's a brief overview of how the BCCI works. The general body is the highest decision-making body in the BCCI, consisting of representatives from state cricket associations. It meets once a year to discuss and make decisions on matters related to cricket administration in India. The Working Committee is the executive body of the BCCI and is responsible for the day-to-day -day management of cricket affairs in India. It consists of 18 members, including that the BCCI has several subcommittees that are responsible for various functions such as selection, finance, marketing, and so on. The BCCI is made up of state cricket associations, which are responsible for organizing and promoting cricket within their respective states. They also elect representatives to the general body of the BCCI. The BCCI also works closely with the players, both at the international and domestic level, to ensure that their needs are met and that they are able to perform at their best. Overall, the BCCI works towards the development and promotion of cricket in India, both at the grassroots level and at the highest levels of international competition. The Board of Control for Cricket in India is a registered society under the Tamil Nadu Society's Registration Act, 1975, according to the Income Tax Act, 1961. Organizations that are registered as societies and are engaged in promoting sports are eligible for certain tax exemptions. BCCI has been granted tax exemptions by the Indian government under Section 12A of the Income Tax Act, which provides exemptions to organizations engaged in charitable activities. The BCCI has been recognized by the government as a non-profit organization that promotes sports and cricket in particular. As a result, it is exempt from paying income tax on its surplus income, which is reinvested into the development of cricket in the country. In addition to the tax exemptions, BCCI also contributes significantly to the Indian economy by generating employment opportunities, promoting tourism, and attracting investments. The organization also pays various taxes, such as service tax and goods and services tax, on the revenue it earns from the Indian Premier League and other cricket-related activities. However, there has been some controversy over the tax exempt status of the BCCI, with some critics arguing that it should be treated as a commercial organization and pay taxes on its income. The issue is a matter of ongoing debate and discussion among various stakeholders, including the government, tax authorities, and the BCCI itself. The Board of Control for Cricket in India is widely considered the richest cricket board in the world in terms of revenue generation and financial resources. The BCCI is responsible for organizing and managing cricket matches and events in India, which is home to the largest cricket audience in the world. The BCCI's revenue comes from various sources, including media rights, sponsorships, and the Indian Premier League. The IPL is one of the most popular and lucrative domestic 2020 cricket leagues in the world and has helped the BCCI generate significant revenue. The BCCI's financial resources enable it to invest in the development of cricket in India and contribute to the growth of the sport globally. The BCCI's financial clout has given it significant influence in international cricket as well. The BCCI plays a leading role in the International Cricket Council and has been involved in various governance issues related to the sport, including revenue sharing and the scheduling of international matches. In summary, the BCCI is considered the richest cricket board in the world, with significant financial resources and influence in international cricket.
The Board of Control for Cricket in India has significant powers and responsibilities related to the administration of cricket in India. Some of the key powers and responsibilities of the BCCI are The BCCI is responsible for organizing and managing domestic and international cricket matches and events in India. This includes scheduling matches, selecting venues, and ensuring that the matches are conducted in a fair and safe manner. The BCCI is responsible for the development of cricket in India including the promotion of the sport at the grassroots level and the identification and grooming of young talent. The BCCI is responsible for the selection of the Indian cricket team for international matches. The selection process is carried out by a committee appointed by the BCCI. The BCCI is responsible for the management of Indian cricket teams, including the appointment of coaches, support staff, and other officials. The BCCI is responsible for the financial management of cricket in India, including the management of revenue generated from various sources such as media rights, sponsorship, and the Indian Premier League. The BCCI is one of the leading cricket boards in the world and plays a key role in the governance of international cricket. It has significant influence in the International Cricket Council and participates in various committees related to the governance of the sport. Overall, the BCCI has extensive powers and responsibilities related to the administration and development of cricket in India, as well as significant influence in the governance of international cricket.